Hello YouTubers, it's Michelle and I'm back again with another share. Today I'm going to be sharing an Apple, a uh, mini album that I did. And if you watched my videos in the past, you've probably heard me talk about working on this Apple mini and buying supplies and things to do with it and stuff. And I finally got it done. Um, I will say that it was a labor of love. Um, I started at the end, well... I don't know. I actually probably started the, in the middle of last year, you know, covering the album because it was a chipboard album that I got at Michael's. And um, then I kind of sat it aside. And then towards the end of the year, I started really, really getting into, uh, you know, working on the embellishment and stuff. And then by the first of the year, uh, I really got into trying to complete it and stuff. So, like I said, it's been a labor of love. And, I would set it to the side and then bring it back and work on it and stuff. But I finally got it done. Um, it's been done actually for a couple of months. And I thought that I would share with you guys. So I'm going to move this. And I just think it really, really turned out really cute. So this is it. Make sure that it's, yeah, it's showing it. And the title is called Apple of My Eye, and I actually cut this with my silhouette. I absolutely love that. A lot of the things in this book were cut with my silhouette, and I just, I absolutely love that machine. Um, I've had it for uh, close to a year now, I think, and I just, I love it. It is so much better than the Cricut. Just awesome. So, um, what I did is I used a jump ring to tie it, and then this is some ribbon that I had gotten at Michael's, and I just thought that it was perfect. It just reminded me of apples and stuff, and um, so I tied the ribbon in a bow, and then I have some tool, um, meshy tool, and then just some regular tool that's got a little bit of bling in it that I've tied there to um, kind of... Um, finish that off. Um, the leaves are a Sizzix dye that I have and then I ran them through the Cuddle Bug Swiss dot just to give them a little bit of oomph. Um, then I used some little gingham ribbon up here and a little button and um, these circle dies are my Lifestyle Crafts dies and then these little apples are from Jolie's and then I just um, went around the circles with some pretty lace and the paper that I used is from an ancient collection I mean ancient I bought that collection of paper when I first started scrapbooking it's from uh, Provo Craft and they sewed it at Michael's and it was all apple themed paper and it's really really thin paper you know it's the paper that came out in the very beginning you know when scrapbooking first started really getting popular like at the beginning of the millennium and um so like i said it was really really old paper but i've kept that paper forever because i wanted to do something that was completely apple themed and um finally when i found these um, chipboard books at michael's that was like you know a complete light bulb moment i've got to pull that paper out and use it so um that's what I did. And then, of course, everything, the chipboard, I painted that with Luminart uh, paints, which is um, a really cool kind of paint. It's kind of got like a um, pearlescent look to it and stuff. So I painted it in like a brown, bronzy color um, and then just kind of edged um, the edges with that as well. And then everything else is, of course, um, inked with Distress Ink. So, and this is going to be, uh, of course, an album for pictures of my fur babies because they are, of course, the apple of my eye. So, you open it up. And I'll make sure that I've got this all in the frame. And I do. And 
this says apple dumpling or a little dumpling and I wanted to you know do like a play on words of all the apple of different words for apples and stuff in this little mini album so um this little border here is lifestyle crafts border um this again the circle is made from my lifestyle crafts dies and the little apples down here at the bottom were made with my silhouette again use some more of the gingham ribbon and um the buttons and then um again i did the leaves and i embossed them and that the embossed leaves will be on each page and then this little apple here is just one of those little um michael's um dollar bin things and i did paint the uh, little clothes pin like an off-white and then you can pull these out and I printed all of these off on my computer and then I'm going to use them either as journaling or photo mats. So, there's that, and that, and that. So that's a little pocket right there. Then on the next page it says spoiled rotten to the core. I absolutely love the way this has turned out. I used the Polaroid, um, dot our image from my silhouette and this apple core here was made with the silhouette as well um this little lacy square is from my lifestyle crafts dies and then these little apples here are of course the jellies that i used in the front and then you have the little ribbon and then um this just you know pulls up where i can tuck a picture in there when i'm ready Okay, and we have the next page, and it says Simply Sweet. Again, the apple was cut out with my silhouette. Use some um, gingham ribbon up here, and more gingham ribbon. Um, this is a little bitty prima flower, and then I use some um, oh, uh, three dimensional paint to do the little um, thing on the middle. Give it a little oomph. Uh. And again, these pull out to use for photo mats. So there's that. Then this one, another one of my favorite pages because I love this little barrel. And I cut all of this out with my silhouette. Um, used another, some more of the gingham ribbon and a button. And then some more gingham ribbon and a button there. And then this is also a pocket page. And these pull out. Now, and it says, I love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. Which I thought was really cute. So that's that. Then the next page, like I said, this is going to be a page or a book for my fur babies. So I put A plus KC because AKC fur baby. And I thought that was appropriate to use with the little chalkboard, you know, A plus, kind of like a school theme. Um, then um, these are the little chalkboards. I think you can get them at Joanne's. And then I put some more gingham ribbon. Another one of those cute little um, apples from Michael's or, that are Jolie's. This opens up. And I can put a picture there. And then I can also put a picture there. It's got the little gingham ribbon um, with another Prima heart or Prima flower. Then this page here, again, the apple was cut out with my silhouette, and so were the little ladybugs. I used some three-dimensional paint on the ladybugs for the little spots, and then I used some little googly eyes for their eyes. Um, some more of the gingham ribbon, prima flowers, and um, buttons. And then I used some Velcro that opens up there, and I used my Lifestyle Crafts square eyes and did a little photo mat to put a picture. And then here, again, the straw, or the strawberry, the apple was cut out with my um, silhouette. 
Some more gingham ribbon, buttons, more gingham ribbon to print the flower. Um, this is some washi tape that I had bought at Michael's quite a while back. And then this is a little flip book. So I can um, put some journaling there. And then this is a little belly band right there. So I can put a picture back there. And then I can also put a picture here. And then this slides out. And you have room for a picture there and some journaling there. And then this is the last page, and this is a little tree that I cut out with my silhouette along with the little apples. Um, this is a bunch of the Prima flowers that I've used all throughout the book. Um, again, I used some of the three-dimensional paint for the centers of the flowers. Um, just a little photo mat here. Um, this came off of the edge of the authentic paper. I know a lot of times I use the quotes that are on there. And they have the little hand and stuff. And I thought it was cute because I put on there hand picked. So um, that's why I put that on there. And then I put a little gingham ribbon. And then there's a little um, apple charm hanging there. And then that's the back. So that is my Apple Mini that I have been talking and talking and talking and talking about. So I hope that you liked it. I just thought it really turned out really cute. Like I said, um, all the images that I cut out with my silhouette just, you know, they set the album off really well. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.